What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria today joined with my friends Forrest and Lime from Orias Band. Today we're doing something special because together we're gonna check some of the post uh, last day and uh, we have to wait. So there is not much we can do, we gotta wait. But there's already actually some very interesting news. Huh? Look at this. Many of you know Lex Friedman is a great podcaster. Um, I love his podcast, his guest, and I think yes, finally, I don't know if he did it before, but he has had a take on this whole trial thing, mm. and uh, we see his tweet that was just posted several hours ago, and he goes like this, my take away from Johnny Depp versus her third person, first, fame is a hell of a drug for some. Two, psychiatrists and lawyers come in drastically varying levels of skill. He's referring probably to both Camille and Dr. Curry, that we all like. Dr. Curry? Curry, yeah, like the psychiatrist specialist that came on for uh, Johnny Depp's side. Mm -hmm. Lying to millions of people is something humans are capable of. Very interesting because even Fred uh, Friedman, Lex, knows what's up, who is lying. Love can be messy, mega pint of wine. We know Johnny Depp likes, well, actually was not his words, was the lawyer words that accused him yeah. of when he was kicking the cabinets. You have seen this video, kicking the cabinets. Yeah. And then he, he, there is this glass uh, with the jar on top, you know, that he mm. pours a big glass of wine. And the, the lawyer of the defendant says like, ah, oh, you put yourself a mega pint of wine and then Johnny goes like mega pint like, <laughs> what really? is that <laughs> what is it? where is I a mega a, I took so that's a large glass of wine yeah, exactly like and our man and now mask yeah no. answers and uh, it's funny because we get the answer which I, I think probably this is the first time that Elon Musk has come forward with any statement he, I know that he likes to use Twitter and I think this is quite telling man and we have the exclusive reason why we know he said that we find out the reason the specific reason why elon musk is being so nice and wishing good bad, bad. we'll show you in a second but apparently says i hope they both move on at their best they are each incredible well he well. changed his mind <laughs> towards johnny depp now yeah. he's incredible he, before he, he's not. saying that because i think when this whole scandal came out of her op-ed and everything which johnny was accused right i think uh, elon musk came forward and challenged johnny depp to a cage fight on a tweet or something like that and uh, at the time what happened was that uh, a friend of johnny depp came forward and offered a different solution and that friend was none other than Mickey Rourke, right? So Mickey Rourke saw the challenge that uh, Elon Musk had, had thrown at, at Johnny Depp, right? And he gave the most like epic answer you can <laughs> ever have to, and, and to he protect gave, your friend. And he just wrote this beautiful, I guess, was a tweet on Instagram. And he just said like, I just read that Elon Musk has challenged Johnny Depp to a fight. I have the better idea if Elon Musk is in a fighting mood and can fight someone his own size, right? I gladly love the opportunity to take you to school, Mr. Tough Guy Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Bare feast, elbows and knees, and I will only use one hand, my left. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Gentlemen. Only the left. <laughs> we can both put down 200k a piece, winner take all, no rules. So instead of picking on someone who weighs 130 pounds, I'm calling your ass out. <laughs> Warm regards, Mickey Marielito Rurk. And that's why now he's so he's speaking so softly of our friend. I, I think now we have find out why he's agreeing. It's like, ah, oh, both we hope that both of them <laughs> move on. And actually it's it's a very interesting. You know why? Because as a lot of people are noticing is this to me also tells me a little bit that i think elon musk probably still kind of bewitched by this narcissist mm. you know because this is the power of narcissist they still manage to keep their grip on you you know you don't realize like they managed she managed basically to have a grip on johnny depp for years so th this tells me that somehow Musk seems still co somehow connected with this it's person been you know what i mean quite uh, quite successfully because Lex Friedman is a friend 
uh, that he also did a podcast together. So he felt like compelled to answer, you know, like mm. this. So this is, a, of course, a very human reaction to have. But if you read into it, even if it's just few lines, it means like, first of all, he feels still involved somehow. Somehow he still feels like, you know, he has whatever he did, either he feels guilty or he feels some involvement in it. Or he's you still know? afraid that Mickey Rourke one day is going to knock on his door. <laughs> Did you say that about my friend? I, but I think that he's still afraid. I mean, on. Mickey Rourke also knows all the other boxers <laughs> uh, and friends. So it's like a guy you want to have on your side, you know? <laughs> if I could choose, yes. Like if, if Mickey, if, if you see this, we are yeah, good friends. Like, Respect. <laughs> <laughs> always been a great fan of Mickey Rourke even of the uh, even of the silly movies like uh, Marlboro Man and Harley Davidson that even those silly good. movies I, I I used to love those silly movies and also uh come oh, si chiama in Italian in English uh, uh, White Orchid there was this movie uh, Orchidea uh, like uh, Wild Orchid uh, mm -hmm. there was this famous movie that he did uh, I think was not nine and a half weeks the other one Anyway, great, great actor. I mean, just absolutely great actor and uh, also a good boxer, man. Yeah, yeah good boxer good and boxer. respect because he's a good friend of Johnny yeah. and he steps on for his smaller he friend. He seems like he seems like a solid guy, you know, Mickey <laughs> Rourke, like maybe, a solid maybe. guy, like with the, with a good art. So definitely I'd love to uh, have him on the on your side. <laughs> so, guys, this is what's up. I think this is super interesting, really. I, I hope if he's going to come out with the, another statement or whatever, but I think this is really the first time that he's spoken on this. Uh, but for the rest, we have, we're, we're trying to go some of the information that we can find. And uh, th th there is not a lot uh, going on, unfortunately. There was here this uh, Arthur Morgan Mary's Amber Heard, which is uh, from... Um, Got that redemption too. Yeah, it's from the the game. I don't know. Some of you probably know this game. She was not punching anyone. She was just in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a serious he punch, man. Fell in love. We got married shortly after. I bought us a little cozy house. And to be honest, we spent a lot of time together. We had a lot of fun together. <laughs> we literally <laughs> parachuted <laughs> together. Boy, Amber was so weird. I mean, she liked the smell in the barn. She even slept there. <laughs> I mean, Amber was a snake, but I loved her. The problem is, she kept hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> and wrestling me. Oh my, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, don't oh, slam on the floor. She threw a bottle at me. <laughs> and then she played the victim. Oh my God. She played the big two. <laughs> she the big <laughs> One day, <laughs> when I came team. home, I smelled the barn right in our room. <laughs> <laughs> there it was. A turn of the size of a horse. Shit. Oh and when my I God. decided to confront her, she went after me for a full day. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> I decided to man up. Hey, come on, so <laughs> hey. No simping. No simping. Wow. <laughs> YouTube.com CD C Dallas. Oh man, this was fantastic. <laughs> that was a very nice one. I doubt that Arthur Morgan or whatever let anyone treat him like that, but love because, is love, man. Because you played this game, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't play it, so I don't know the main character. But this is so much fun, man. Like I don't know how he did this. <laughs> I have no idea how he did this, but it's just fantastic. Oh. Oh my God! So we, we're just going through some some of the news that we 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 can try to find. We know that uh, some jurors have been uh, uh, let's say excused or something like that. I was trying to find some info whether or not the from the YouTubers which they were inside the, the courtroom. You know, if um, some of the jurors actually I, I read I think was uh, one of the Canadian uh, lawyer that said um, the guy with white long hair I forgot his name I think it's Rankle and he was saying that one of the jurors that was um, moved out now I forgot the specific term but was like um, on JD side it seemed you know so mm. uh, I don't know how good that is that somebody that was on his side left and there was also this interesting uh, rumor, it seems like here, about the lawyers of AH, which uh, I don't know how, 
like you know how the source how accurate this is but it seems like uh, this is what we're reading here late after the trial before the jury went home Elaine left for the bathroom crying we all felt terrible for her after she came out we tried to make her smile I hope it helped so this is interesting that, so that means that that the lawyer of AH had some kind of like a breakdown or something you know the woman like uh, defending her so mm. you, you really they want expect something already no i mean i think you know the, the thing is also you choose to take a client and you have to buy basically in their right. bs you know and then you have to try you know, like can you imagine like you take a client you believe their story right for the money whatever but if you all of a sudden start to doubt mm -hmm. your decision you know you start to doubt like what the fuck did i do you know yeah, like but i mean lawyers are like um they have like uh, the the conduct code or something yeah, yeah. when they have to defend you yeah. even though they know you are guilty or something but they cannot lie yeah. to the court so that's where their ability has to like yeah. find a balance and yeah i mean in this case i mean i'm not really following a lot and everything yeah. but for what you see uh, the um, uh, the president uh, everybody that ever worked with johnny depp knows that he's a very kind person even like the minor people on the set they say he was very humble nobody ever saw him being violent and everything and these accusations really are like uh, just i think she they they should like find a more convincing way maybe i think they exaggerated a little bit with these accusations so that's why probably a good lawyer will see no way out of something like this no but also because like i was trying to scroll here yeah, right here like we were watching together this guy right mm. of uh and we all know by this and uh forest hasn't seen those pictures so i was trying to Hello? show him yeah. the, 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 that basically those are the evidence and Prince. forest is also like a, an amateur boxer and he's like uh, he's passionate about uh, mixed martial art and uh, he, you know he does uh, am amateur boxing so he also trained in that kind of sports i did he, he did in I that kind of sports so i showed him this picture you know like and, and he comes from not knowing those things and i asked him it's like hey, look this is basically supposed to be a picture of somebody that it's been punched like with you know, like with the, with a close fist you know several times and this is the face of this person you know like and you and you just said what this you is said before and after isn't it? no no this is exactly the same picture because she presented more pictures but what this guy is also showing is that basically those pictures were just like enhanced a little bit with color mm -hmm. and stuff because basically there is no swallowing i mean you you, you said it too i mean if somebody punches this doesn't look I like mean, oh this is the lamest punch ever and he had like his fist was warm and he bruised you like <laughs> or something <laughs> or i mean you have like a the face made of rubber so he just have like, but it looks to me like this is just a little bit of makeup on somebody's face because she has like this pronounced like uh, feature in his face yeah, so this is not small and uh, uh, uh what happened to the 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 girl the singer uh, yeah. rihanna, uh, rihanna. Yeah. i mean she wasn't even assaulted when they were standing as yeah. the story goes yeah. and she really had it really bad like uh she was completely disfigured from a few punches of a no but the thing that man, like so. you know better than me if you get a punch right here right the first thing that goes it's basically you start to have this like <laughs> like yeah most of the time i mean the 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 blood uh, yeah. uh, moves under your eyes like the same thing if you get punched in the nose both your eyes yeah. get black yeah. like yeah. because of the, the the movement of the blood and i mean this really doesn't look like somebody who's been punched at all or i mean also i heard something that johnny depp is always wearing like rings yeah 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 yeah, and yeah. first at all i mean it's it's not realistic uh it's not realistic it doesn't matter how small the guy is or whatever but somebody punching you like square in the face this is not the kind of mark you're gonna have no but it's also fascinating because it, this left is side. proven time and time again that this guy here like for instance uh, that this youtuber is using this application to show that actually the two pictures are laid one on top of each other mm -hmm. because she said that one picture was taken without the lights on 
and the other picture was taken with the lights on so that shows more the bruise ah. and in fact it's no, basically it's, it's exactly the same pictures basically yeah, yeah. So you can see it's precisely the same picture so she probably like changed the filter to make it look more uh, more uh, I mean this is and... this is so obvious that it's almost enraging that somebody can like expect people believing that that's the truth you know what i mean it's like come on seriously also because i heard in one instance she was not just like slept one time or whatever for what they allegedly says uh, she was like punched repeatedly in the face by the guy wearing rings and then the day after she's on a show and she looks just pristine yeah. Yeah, here we go this yeah. i don't know if i can show this too much because i think we get uh, we get uh oh, man, yeah. poor girl uh, but poor, poor girl man like she's like literally swollen and uh just with a few punches that's exactly what it looks like and it's actually really uh, i i mean this whole thing that we have learned is that this is really offensive to people which they've gone through abuse you know yeah. what i mean like uh, through through people which they really suffered some kind of violence like that you know it's really enraging actually that somebody can be so freaking like psychotic you know so yeah, so egocentric to make a coming out uh, either and also another thing that i think personally i mean i'm not a lawyer or whatever but i think if somebody really does something like this like somebody a very famous person somebody who's in the show business most of the time they don't even get to court they will settle this yeah 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 like, to save their reputation they will give you all the money in the world mm -hmm. just to keep this out of people's mouth so if johnny depp is uh, fully committed multiple times to mul multiple like uh, uh, trials is probably because you know he's, he's on the right and doesn't doesn't match out you know the story then they make they don't have the proof and hopefully you know justice will be done because i agree i agree too because this is actually a really great point because uh, especially if you like uh we, we say in apollo then you have the thief inside you know like mm. you're like you you're feeling guilty of something you know uh you usually go like you're very prone to agree with demands so yep. if she 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 was entitled to 32 million from the divorce settlement because that's what the money he made johnny in california in those years where they were married so the law says whatever they made together he had to split so he made like 65 million whatever so she could have walked away with 32 wow. million right mm -hmm. so johnny if he was guilty of something he also would have tried to push to you know shut yeah, their yeah. mouth Take the money you know like, and, uh, uh, like okay it. get the money and also her also her if she was really a victim of that you know how do you hurt somebody that has hurt you you know what i mean with money that's the best thing you can yeah. do and you ask for the full amount how come you agree very quickly on seven you know like try yeah. to you know Even what i mean silence I think this is more something that she tries to do like for publicity yeah yeah no 100 percent, 100 percent. like it's sort of publicity and it didn't work you know like you start to get caught in the lie and it just escalated worse somebody worse. say no publicity is bad publicity but uh, you know <laughs> i don't know like uh, her career yeah this is the aclu where she was supposed to donate money and uh yeah she pledged the money though i i wonder if th she's gonna be removed from this after this because nobody believes this person is a victim so it's also that you know like that those association they have political agendas they don't really look into the fact really well mm. and uh, you end up with a narcissist being the image of something that is supposed to be good you know what i mean yeah. like that, that's it's not a, the best yeah that's kind of absurd in a way it's absolutely freaking absurd but unfortunately there is not now we just have to wait there is not much uh, like news coming out there's some of these uh, this is uh, are something that i read last night where it says that apparently uh, somebody that works on spaceport that knows directly musk and he has shared a lot of information regarding um, his interaction with the h uh, that he actually got her the lawyers mediocre lawyers that uh, he wants her basically to lose because uh, he she has dirt on him or something like that at least mm. this is this this is the statement of this guy here that is saying i read it in another video last night i mean i can believe all those things because people forget you know we are all people doesn't matter if you're worth the 300 billion 
or you have a, you know your your it's minus easy. fifty dollar on your account you're just another person you yeah. know you wake up you drink water you go to pee you go to do number two i mean that that's what it is we are just human being you sometimes know? you do number two on somebody's bed <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> Let, let's let's hope that that's not an habit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh man if you get a girl that does number two on your bed oh. that's a that's a really the the only red flag you need to know <laughs> yeah. but you, you forrest is also a dog lover right and he has, has had many dogs has grown many dogs small or big and basically they said that what shit on the bed was those little yorkies like teacup yorkies you know like those little fluffy thing like mm -hmm. this and, and you're uh, not gonna mistake that for a human uh, drop feces dropping so we're gonna i mean go like call it. how can a, a little dog like this make that much poo you no, know I, I mean it doesn't even have that much like uh, intestines like intestines and stomach probably it's so freaking ridiculous actually it's uh, it's just one lie after another after another and look at like look at this guy can you imagine this guy like look at this guy look at those rings man look at those freaking rings like those are like probably like 20 grams a, a <laughs> ring you know like look at that and there's actually two things when you when you punch with the ring you can hurt somebody but you also can hurt yourself yeah you know what i mean yeah, you know, yeah, I mean, with those rings if you punch here the, the face oh. uh, needs to break yeah right? yeah the yeah, skin yeah. Needs to... Oh, but those i mean it's it's also pretty strange because i saw the video yeah. then he was like uh, uh punching cabinets and yeah, kicking yeah. the fridge and everything and what really makes me think is like uh i mean nobody knows the truth or whatever it is i don't want to like speculate but this is what we're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. who the hell is going like to record yeah. uh, somebody then you said is abusing you or whatever in the moment then probably is going to abuse you again instead of leaving yeah, yeah. instead of trying to save your yourself or whatever you just place the camera over there hoping that he actually like gets violent towards you. i mean yeah. it, it, for me it doesn't really match with the behavior of somebody who's been abused because most of the time they're probably going to try to defuse leave the leave the situation you know but it's funny because that's what he does in the video also you know you see him he gets pissed but then he takes the camera he puts it in a cabinet and he walks away <laughs> you know like i've said also this before Th this that moment like you said would be a moment of immense escalation yeah, you know if he like, was a violent person that's where you probably will see it that moment would have been the moment that that phone would have been destroyed <laughs> we will never have seen of that course, footage because that guy would have been so fucking mad and just smash the phone and smash you you know what i mean i also think so, if you if you are someone that uh, that you punch people you start immediately with the people is that you, you don't start with the free yeah because the chair and then because the people glass and then you know me exactly because people confuse now you see the video you think that that video was meant for us it wasn't no no it was just th this person recording stuff you know what i mean so it was never meant to see the light of day and you see the intention like you said and the intention like you, you also probably suspect the same is that she wasn't afraid of that guy that's no. why she wasn't no, no. afraid and uh, this is also something that at least i mean in in uh, what i experienced because i've been around some uh, some temperate uh, yeah, yeah. temper everything temperamental people and all the people that i saw punching walls cabinets inanimate object are never violent people yeah. because the violent person doesn't really waste his energy you with know, something yeah. that doesn't suffer you know <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. something they cannot be hurt and they know they can hurt themselves if yeah. you are used to uh, hurt people because you strike them you punch them or whatever you don't go against something then harder than you but you go against something you can hurt and i think for also what everybody say about uh, johnny depp it's he's uh, not that guy uh, he's not that guy you should have like you don't just get violent out of the blue when you are in your 50s in your you know, uh, we, we come from naples we come from you know we have been uh, in, in you know knowing people on the streets now i'm just saying Forest comes from an area where there are literally mobs and kids with guns. You know, yeah. like he, he comes, he, he grew up in one of the most savage area of south of Italy, where there are still like really gangs, mm -hmm. and actually there are mobs which they control like all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
literally grew up in that kind of environment and you like we we see people like from far who is the type of guy that is that type of guy or the one that is not that type of guy you uh, know of like, course when you are a very famous person of course you have a way to uh, like uh, mask your real yeah, yeah, self yeah. because you are used to uh, having a public image but seriously i mean with all the the, the people that you can pick on this yeah. is i mean because you hear also uh, every person that ever worked with him met him or whatever yeah, yeah. they say he's a number guy he's super friendly yeah, he's why. uh and he, it doesn't matter how much he drinks which kind of drug he use the um, uh, the the mannerism doesn't change the yeah. behavior yeah I, mean, I agree i mean you can change you you know with drugs usually you can you can definitely change but uh, a lot of people say the same you know like I had like for instance my uncle was like uh, uh, rest his, rest his soul passed away uh, he had a problem with alcohol right so he literally drank until he freaking like couldn't move you know what I mm. mean and uh, that guy has never been violent in his entire life uh, but if you're and he probably you're drank he drank more than Johnny mm. you know what I mean yeah. he drank more than John that guy was just freaking lost you know this guy has never cursed or shouted done nothing to anybody you know what i mean so and then there are some kind of people they drink maybe and they and they go maybe like uh, in a bar uh, you know but it usually <laughs> and also people that never drink but they are just violent because they like the thrill of the fact that you're fighting with people and also another thing then uh, i heard like some um, uh, some audio files yeah, of yeah. discussions they have that i for what i understood they're, they were recording their um, their arguments just for a sake then like uh, so they can hear yeah, yeah. the problem yeah. that they have again as a couple this and that and you can seriously hear this this girl like going uh, always trying to to go like for a conflict and yeah. he's the guy that I was like in diffusing the situation every time and this is also something that makes me think then uh, sometimes when people are always looking for the conflict and they don't even like uh, realize themselves yeah. then you are just a conflict driven uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. person this is how you live and most of the time are the ones then uh, are, are very for them it's very easy to play the victim yeah. because they don't see what they're really doing to somebody else so this is the impression that i have of course i think from this trial but you exactly nailed it because that's exactly also this type of narcissist what they do they they literally leave on drama I've, yeah. I've i went through like four hour and a half audio argument that this person goes in loop mm. i mean who the freak argues on the same point for four hour and a half straight yeah. i mean th that's insane and it's amazing that johnny was still there <laughs> yeah, you, you know, know what i mean <laughs> like uh, uh, how much proof do you need that this guy is not violent i mean that guy sat like okay on xanax or whatever for freaking four hour and a half and this woman ba -bam, ba -bam, relentless with the same loop of nonsense because she feels on drama violent, if you're you know? violent you can kiss someone Oh, this way. Uh, lime. If you are a violent, uh, I violent swear to person. God, this guy is a better man than I am because I think <laughs> after <laughs> after 15 minutes talking with this woman, I think she would have left the house without using the stairs. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I swear to God, like oh my God, and I'm a quiet person. I'm super calm. You know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, this freaking woman is freaking driving me crazy. <laughs> oh Jesus, like. Yeah, I really don't understand. Probably was actually numbing himself because. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yes, so we yes. already talked about. It. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Like, <laughs> oh my God, this is so freaking crazy. Well, let's close it up. This otherwise we make the video too long. Thank you, JD, for giving us a voice. Mm. It's true. We believe JD, and whatever happens, happens. But we believe JD the real victim the real abuse and don't forget that just to remind you just to remind you in your life it's better if you have mickey Rourke on your side <laughs> <laughs> i'm just saying i you know i i i prefer mickey Rourke <laughs> on, yeah, on, on my side that, that's always like a good good thing to add all right guys we're gonna try to do other videos together in the near future